Welcome to the forest of Fangorn in Beefy Me 1 on a page 2.22 for a video commentary between good and evil. Rohan versus Isengard. I mean, basically, Saruman wanted to burn the Fangorn forest. And we can imagine a situation in which Rohan is trying to help the ants out. The Uruks are marching forward. The Hobbit has been recruited. We get to see lots of peasants eventually. Because every farm for Rohan is acting like a barracks. I like this one actually. You don't stand a chance in a one-on-one -on -one situation. The Uruks will smash every other sword in the game. Give him all you have. Give him all you have. <laughs> okay. This person is coming from the top side. This farm is going to be taken by Rohan. But again, he, will, he needs to fight against another Uruk. Oh my god, Warden has been used. Look at the damage now, boys. Kind of crazy, isn't it? What can those poor peasants do? They've never fought in their lives, dude. King Theoden drafted them. Kind of forced them into fighting. They didn't want to... They didn't choose this. But Uruks were made exclusively for fighting. Okay, I mean, you, you can't win this fight, by the way. Against the Uruks, that's not possible. A steeple up on the field very, very soon. Not a very good-looking castle just yet, but it's going to be changed because he has, in total, 20% discount on his structures. It means a furnace, which usually costs 350, will only cost you 280. And with this being said, you should be able to fill up your castle in a few seconds. Okay? This four lumber mills he has on the field will give him so much money. It's going to be holy cockamole situation. And also, he's blocking the settlement from, from his opponent for a very long time. That's quite impressive. Steeple up on the field. The first Rohirrim is about to enter the battlefield. That's a level 2 peasant, though. It's a different situation. Also, the Hobbit is level almost 3. Level 3 now. Meteor of Brandybok. Look at them go, man. What can men do against such regular seat? The Uruks. The Hobbits, the most dangerous, small creatures of the Shire. They are bringing the Hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> Kill him! Mary, no! Mary has been slain. In the meantime, this Lumber Mill is going to be finally destroyed. The Rohirrim are coming. They were just dealing with the Uruks. They got level 2 out of that. The beast from Isen is looking better already. The Uruk is level 2. He might even go for Lourdes. I mean, that's a very good map for the evil faction, though. Fangon Forest is a map with plenty of settlements, and the more settlements you have, the better it is for the evil, because evil scale very hard with the eco. When they have good eco, they can do all of that. They can go for Armory, War Riders, Lourdes, Saruman, Sharku, pretty much all of this, you know? Power point wise, we have two power points almost for Aizen, and two power points also for Rohan. And here it's becoming tricky because Rohan can basically recruit the peasant warrior from this farm and they will come out in time to defend this against the Uruk pikemen. And Uruk pikemen don't have any chance against the mighty peasants. This creep also taken by Rohan, that's pretty good. We get to see, we get to see more and more of these peasants. Look at this old man, you know. He's saying, I'm too old for this stuff. I'm too old for this stuff, that's what he's saying. Rohan is dominating the mid game though. I like that one. The farm here has been taken down. Look at the minimap, boys. Rohan is everywhere. You need Vorks or you need Lourdes. But you need one of them. Lourdes is a good investment into the lead game though. Because there are too many creeps on this map. There are too many troll creeps actually. One, two, three, and four. You know, you can easily get Lourdes level five. But you can also do what I would like to do here with Rohan, is go for the end rush. Because remember, that's the Fangon Forest map, so it's the home advantage for the, for the tree beard and his friends. And uh, low-key, ends are super strong, by the way. If you don't know, ends are very, very strong. Lourdes is going to be recruited. He can easily be used for creeping the stroll. Everywhere, pikemen. Every oh, he's repairing it. I like that. Look at this, look this poor man going. Repair, repair. Oh no, I'm homeless now. Take this. Okay, this creep will be taken by Lourdes. No problem for the Lourdes. Level 2 will be unlocked. And then after creeping the lair, 
You will get level 3. That's gonna make Lourdes to a very dangerous hero. Outpost captured by Aizen. Good map control still. There comes the Alvin summon. There is no Orkarn killing the pikeman. Orchan is not gonna do anything. Ooh, but the Berserker! Be careful, Lord is gonna be able to enter the enter the castle. Or the Citadel. The elves are not dealing damage to the structures though. And they need to build. Very smart move from Aizen to put him inside the Citadel. I like that one. Heavy armor purchased. He is going for the Rohirrim Archer now. Archer range is gonna be built up for the fire arrows. Oh, but without fire arrows. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't do this. Oh boy. You can't win this without fire arrows. It's not possible. You just can't. The elves, they have not much time remaining on the, on the field anymore. He's towering up. Lourdes is level 3. That's pretty good. He has carnage. And there is still a troll layer at the top side on the field. And also at the bottom left corner. So basically Lourdes can easily get level 4 without having the need to fight against enemy units. You can just creep and get level 4. It will, it will mean that you will only miss one level to reach from level 4 to level 5. That's going to be a huge power spike. His leadership is one of the best leaderships when it comes to the raw damage power. What is this actually? <laughs> the Berserk. Just trample him. Just trample him. I mean, Rohan is slowly losing the map though. That's not very good. Warks are getting demolished over here from the Rohirrim. No hero from Rohan. That's a mistake. You needed Theorin for a, for a long time now. You can also use Theorin for creeping and try to get Glorious Charge. Lourdes is gonna draw the sword and creep this Leia. Oh, with Carnage, look this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. The damage is kinda nutty. <laughs> nutty damage. What you can do also with Rohan is go for the Elven Warriors on a map like this. Because on this map, specifically, um, the outpost control is very important. There are four outposts on this map. And each outpost is very close to the other side of the map. So if you take as Rohan this outpost, you have the chance to pressure the base and go back to the to the outpost and heal up all the time. You can do this over and over again, you know? Lurz, the fighting Uruk. What happened? Did he demolish the archery range without buying fire, fire arrows? I think he did. I think he did, actually. Oh my god. I think he was impatient. Maybe it was almost there and then he demolished it. That means he needs to again invest another one minute for the archer range with level 2 and then another 30 seconds uh, for the fire arrows. And you need to always keep in mind that beside the resource here you can see at this side of the map you have also time resource. Time is also very important. So every time you waste will give you like a handicap, you know, and it will be difficult to recover from this. So him not having fire arrows will cost him the momentum. He could easily take the outpost down with the fire arrows. He can kill this pikeman way easier. And take down the outpost way faster too. The works are coming. Warchan is going to be used. But they have no chance, dude. They have no chance. Saruman is going to be recruited. Can he join the battlefield in time though? Aizen took all the outposts at the top side too. The question is, will Saruman come from this outpost? That's the golden question. Um, yeah, he was coming from the outpost. Maybe it's good for <laughs> Aizen that he couldn't get out. Because I believe he would just die there. To the Rohirrim and Rohirrim Archer. Without any backup. Saruman is going to be recruited now from the main castle. But Aizen is so much, so wealthy that he can do everything pretty much simultaneously. He's super rich. Rohan could take this outpost here and build three farms on it to get a bit more eco. Lourdes, level almost five. The Lambir Mill has been destroyed for the first time in this game. No fire arrows, keep that in mind. Heavy armor will make them quite beefy. There comes the Alvin summon too, but there is Sariman. The White Wizard is showing his face. Look this! Ooh, the Lourdes is diving in, getting level five just like that. The two Rohirrim warriors have been stolen. The Worm Tongued. Warm Tongue is like a new verb, by the way. You can use it in your uh, during your D. Whenever you are getting fooled by somebody and getting convinced into something, you can say, I got I was getting warm tongued. You know? Let's use it. Let's make it to the word vocabulary in 2024. Okay? Let's use it during the day, boys. <laughs> and let me know in the comment section down below whenever it's gonna happen to you that you need to use this word and how the reaction was from somebody who doesn't know what warm tongue is. 
arrows. I like the rocket marches. Look at how cool they are, man. They are so coolly designed units. But no leadership, though. That's gonna make it kind of difficult. You need the damage leadership to kill stuff like Saruman and Lourdes faster. Fire! Yeah, so many of them, dude. Holy. One, two, three, four. Yeoman Arches too. I mean, get this outpost already. Lourdes and Saruman rotating from the bottom side. No siege works yet at the outpost, but he might go for the siege works from this outpost. Here, when you play Aizen, you need to be kind of fast. Because you can't defend both the sides simultaneously, because your heroes can't be everywhere at the same time, you know? That's the advantage of the cavalry units. Outpost will go down. Outpost has been taken, and I like this one. Go for the siege and make knock knock. Who is there? Isengard. Open the gate. <laughs> I'm a nerd, dude. I'm a nerd. Don't tell me. I know. I know. I feel affection. I like Isengard the most. Isengard and Gondor. These are my favorites. I like Rohan too. And Mordor is my least liked. I hate to play with Mordor, and I also hate to play against Mordor. So much. Aizen taking over the map, dude. Rohan has nothing. Only one farm remaining. He doesn't even have this farm under his control for whatever reason. I mean, this player should have been focusing way more on the map control than he actually did in this game. But he's coming now. The pikes, they don't stand a chance. There are too many of them. They will go down. For certain. Lourdes is here. And this outpost has not enough protection. It means Rohirrim might actually be... Ooh, this is gonna be a feed combolicious trample time. Lord, look, Lord is diving in. Lord. Oh, he's gonna draw the sword. Ooh, but he's gonna get chunked. He's gonna get chunked. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord is no more. Dying right in front of the eyes of his master. Saruman was not there just in time to save his servant. And he will get immediately revived, but it's a level 5 Lourdes. It means it will take you 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Again, time is a resource. And you having to invest that much time into getting your hero back will cost you, like mentioned before, momentum. Theoden has been recruited for the first time. Ooh, bad trample into the pikeman. Siege works. Alista is hidden behind. Be careful with the Rohirrim warriors. They are very low. Don't lose them. Ooh, the fireball! Uh, flying into the next dimension. These combos are having the armor leadership from Saruman. They will not take that much damage. But there comes the Alvin summon. Just like in the films, elves are eating the man. There comes the Vorchan in the rain combination. It means no leadership for you, more leadership for me. That's the power of Isengard, boys. And Rohan has to be careful. Use land. Use land. Sariman is going ham, boys. Ooh, fight for me and I will not reward you. <laughs> Saruman is a mean one. Two of them stolen, one of them being level 4, by the way. And the Rohirrim archers, I don't think they can survive this. What you could do is put them into, into your castle, right here. That means every tower is going to shoot at them. But I think he wanna, he's planning to kill them with his combos and his Saruman. He's using the right click on the fireball. The horses are, are, are free. One of them is going to be surviving, but the second one has been taken down. There is a ballista, double ballista action. The ballista are firing, knocking down everything on the ground. Uf Saruman, boom, chakalaka. The nightmare of Rohan. Saruman is exposed a little bit, but there are pikemen, you need to be careful. Can we not make peace, you and I? He's going to get chunked, but his tunnel vision focus, running it down into the pikemen and losing the vast majority of his army. That's a mistake, sir. That, sir, is a mistake. Aizen, total control of the map. Rohan did not care about the map control that much, not as much as he should. 
outpost control is the key to victory next time you will know better when you want to win a match on this map good against evil that is you need to control the outpost as good and then hold them you know put yomunarchi inside the outpost get some heroes legolas could be could be a great hero aragorn obviously you know lords back on the field boys look at this isengard army which army can win against this army i'm wondering which army is capable of beating beating this army we have four combos pikeman ballista sariman everything your heart desires what can men do against such reckless heat the wall has been broken leadership back on the menu boys i like it but again the only leadership he oh my god there's exposed mine hold on a second hold on a second don't shoot at it oof okay the boom chakalaka <laughs> okay okay explosive mine action explosive mine technology finally a person who kind of his brain is working like my brain i like this one too playing around with the explosive mines the army is marching who now has the strength the wards will die though noreen available and ends are available will he summon the ends defensively but he needs to do it before the army marches in though Hilden has been crippled, will get one tapped, basically one tap, one shot. The ends are going to war. Sorry man, your stuff is not gonna be broken. He's fast though, oh he's gonna die, okay? Oh my god, so many power points. Eisen has actually in total 12. The combos are going for the structural damage. Um, Oh my god, the ends are burning, just like in the films. The Rohirrim archers are melting this, this combo because they have no leadership. Actually doing a heavy damage. If, if, if Tyrion didn't die actually, maybe he would have a chance to defend this. The end should be getting one... Ooh, Lurz. Going for the structures exclusively. The Yomon archer, just like in the film. You know the guy in the film, in the Helm's Deep, the guy who started the war. Basically, Uruks were there, were chanting, you know, like, oh, oh, oh. and then basically the one old man, that's not this dude, by the way, he was the one who kind of shot the first arrow, right, and the war started because of him. Maybe if he didn't shoot, it would take a bit more time to start, right, <laughs> and, you know, that would not get that close, you know. Kill this level 5, dude. 15 power points versus 7.5. Rohan has almost AOD. Look at the um, the meme, sending the sending the explosive mine in there. You know, I like it. I think when I would be here as Rohan, I would probably go for the elves. You know, go for Legolas elves. Outpost control elves are very fast. It's their uh, strength against combos. Combos have more tankiness, but we can make more elves for more raw damage firepower. And then you can use your mobility to engage and disengage whenever you need to. So you make like two, three horses for the map control. Then you basically rush Legolas. You creep with Legolas, a couple of creeps, get him to level five to unlock his leadership. Then you have in order, you know, you know, you have in total three leaderships: Theodine, Aragorn, and Legolas. It's gonna make your elves quite strong, and you can easily hold the outpost with them too. The works are going him, bo him boys. Who let the, with their leader Sharku? Rohan is kind of poor, isn't he? Yeah, he's poor actually. He's hella poor. Oh my god. Lourdes is here. Will he get the AOD he needs though? Sharku is diving in, boys. Look, Sharku's damage. Naughty. Isengard will get the W. An epoch has been defeated. I mean, basically, like I, like I said at the beginning of the video, of the game, it's a very good map for the evil faction, Isengard or Mordor. So if you are asking me what's went, what went wrong in this game for Rohan, he did a good job at the beginning of the game. I mean, not really, he didn't spam too many peasants, he did not really get the map control, but that's okay, you can rush steeple on this map. But what you need to do though, is get outpost. You know, that's very important. Get outpost, so you don't need to go all the way back to the castle to heal up. You can go to your outpost, heal up, pressure, heal up, pressure, heal up, pressure, heal up. And you want to hold the outpost, so your opponent will not be that rich that he can't make Lord Saruman Vort combos 
simultaneously you need to hurt his eco and this is only possible if you get the outpost control at least offensive outpost control the one in the middle you know the both of them very important anyways gg well played little rohan against eisengard action i hope you enjoyed this if you did you know what to do see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys